Hey peeps. Today is what? The say the month. November the 16th. Saturday. 2019. At what time, Shan? It's one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay. So we're gonna introduce ourselves. Okay. So y'all know me, yours truly, Sharon. The life of Sharon. Sharina. Sharina. Known as Sharon. Shane. Shane and Ring. Ages 16 and 17. And yours truly is 52. Okay. So we get ready to do this Bing Booze Challenge. We did one way back, like four years ago. Mm -hmm. So, an updated version. And the flavors we're going to be doing. You want to say the flavors? Let them know what flavor. You can barely talk. Okay, Shan. Oh, you want me to do it? You, is you in the Shan? You can just show it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it because that's hard. Sting bug and toasted marshmallow together. Dishwash dirty water and birthday cake together. Rotten egg and butter popcorn together. Toothpaste and berry blue together. Bark and peach together. Canned dog food and chocolate pudding together. Booger and juicy pear together. Spoiled milk and coconut together. Mm -hmm. Stinky socks and tutti frutti together. And dead fish and strawberry banana smoothie together. So we got all our stuff set out on the table. I should have showed y'all how we got it hooked up, y'all. Y'all see that? So that's how we laid it out and everything. So come back in the frame, she. The hubby over there watching SBU. So let's get this party started. So we're going to go on order. We're not going to spin the wheel because sometimes you keep landing on the same one. And so we getting ready to do this, y'all. Oh, my God. Pray for me. No, y'all. Look, I was chilling. Today is Saturday. My chill day. Anthony, come We want to do the big booze try. I'm like, okay, let's do this, y'all. Oh, I'm straight up in chill mode. In mm -hmm. my throat, I had to take some Motrin, drink some tea, because my throat, oh, it was, I was miserable last night, y'all, and this morning. So, okay, let's do Sting Bug and Toasted Marshmallow. We fit a pick, our flavor. Shane, you ain't even seen in the frame that much. We fit a pick, our flavors. What's Sting Bug at? Right there. I can't. You better get your, you better, girl, you better get your Sting Bug or... Toasted marshmallow. Here we go. Come on. Ah! Wait. One, two, three. We got to get this done. Y'all know how my battery is set up. Come on. Okay. I got my bag too. You said no. You said you're going to swallow. Hopefully, y'all don't puke Y'all ready? One, two, three. Go. I got. What? Good. Just answer the question. Did you say What is that? I don't know if it's marshmallow or what. I think I got toasted marshmallow. I don't think there's no steam but It tastes pretty good, actually. Yeah. I just, what's, what's yours with? Probably toasted San Frank. I think it's steam But it tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> no, after a while, it don't taste good. Ugh. I got toasted. I think I got toasted marshmallow because last year it tastes good. Nothing gonna swallow this bad. Like, okay, what's next, Shan? Look at the camera. Um, we want to order like sad, sad. Dirty dishwater and birthday cake. Dirty dishwater and birthday cake. Dish water and birthday cake. What that said? We only got four dollars. Yeah. Uh, it's nasty. I had two. Two well. You had one of each. You think? Oh no, they taste pretty similar. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're nasty. Not that bad. Okay, y'all. Let's Ugh. get it. Let's get it. Come on. You got yours? Why you over here eating up the uh Sharing No, this one. one. No. Okay, we better do uh dirty dish water and birthday cake. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> That's 
I got birthday cake. Mm -hmm. I got dirty dishwater. Is it good? <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, I think I got dirty dish water too. So just where it tastes like bubbles. Mm. My dumb no time. Yeah, good. Ask me though. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, Jesus, was, Jesus, a little better. I can swallow that. Birthday good. Birthday cake good. Mm -hmm. You only gave us. No, you can't eat them all. Shane, I'm going to see if I'm going to get. Okay, here she is. Oh my God, yeah. But okay, let's go do okay, and do the next one. Don't get two bad ones. Mm. <coughs> okay, what are we getting ready to do next, Ring? Rotten egg. Rotten egg. Or buttered popcorn. Or butter popcorn. Which one is them? It's the yellow ones. Uh, okay, you get your chance. I got my ass. Mm. One, two, three. One, two, three, go. Mm, I got buttered popcorn. <laughs> what the what? What? No. Mm. You know, I guess I hear rotten egg. What you got? Mm. Get over here, frame. Mm. Mm. You need a frame? Mm. <laughs> what you get? Uh, she won't accept to eat all the, uh, the other ones. Mm, this is good. What you mean? Butter popcorn. I think I had that before. Mmm. That's just like butter popcorn. They good though. Mm -hmm. She ain't grab my battery life. Come on now. We ain't got time. You should you got water right here. Oh, you're gonna get up time. Get in frame. Y'all should keep counting on how many good ones and bad ones we had. Well, I only had one bad one and that was uh I, I think dirty dish water no, too. Rotten and rotten egg. I think I had dirty dish water too, but it's oh, yeah. actually good. Okay. And I had uh, rotten egg. Okay, what's that? You got my nose one. I ain't got time to be on here. Okay, the next one is toothpaste and berry blue. Mm. They only gave us four of that too, so let's do this. Either way, we should have did these last, so after we finish eating the rest of them, and we can at least end it off with one of some good ones. No. No? No. Oh. We savage babies. Be mine. We no. Savage babies. Mm. Wait, oh. Wait. One, two, three, go. Mm, I got very blue. I got very blue. Toothpaste. Mm. Mm. Must, this must be a toothpaste. Mm. 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 Stop it. Let's stop. Mm. That was good. I gotta be every blue y'all. Well, she ain't gotta do nothing. The orange, well. Farce or peach? It's these ones. Ugh. Jesus have mercy on my soul because mm. I don't feel good already. That's why I was telling y'all. I want ready. Cause my throat ain't right and all that. I, don't. I feel like this might be a peach. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should get the lighter one. Whatever, just get one. Make no it more like okay, here we go. Well, this is bar <laughs> or peach. We getting ready to do this, y'all. One, two, three, go. Oh, <laughs> Ma, come on, you can't do that now. Oh, I gotta warm it up, right? Oh, now you want to taste one? Shit. I feel like this peach. <coughs> it tastes like bar. Yeah. <coughs> it's supposed to be in frame with your reaction. <laughs> that's nasty. I almost got peach. It tastes like peach, but that's nasty too. Your Most peach nasty. is nasty. I don't eat peaches either. Yeah. Do my girls smell like bark? Look. Is that what I don't eat? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> like bark. I don't know. This is not good, then. I ate it. Ew, ma. Yeah, you didn't have bark then. Uh, I had peach. Like peach. Okay, what's next? Is it tolerable? Next, next day in frame, Jen. Next is candy. 
canned dog food or chocolate pudding? Canned dog food or chocolate pudding, y'all? One, I feel like I got some bark. I, I think I had a peach. Okay, go. One, two, three, go. Okay. Oh, I smell something. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh, I think dog food just took my headache to a whole nother level. Now let's think bugs. Nasty. Right yes. there. Right there. A booger look, that, that, I think a booger is greener. Yeah. I'm gonna go lighter. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. Mm. Is this, it's oh, cool. that dog food still in my mouth. <coughs> One. I need my Marinelli. Okay. One. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Oh, I taste it. I taste it on my tongue. Oh, I ain't even going <laughs> I taste it already. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> mm, mm. I, babe, bring me a clean egg, a tissue, a paper towel, something. Mm, 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 mm. Why did he taste too spicy? You ever see spicy? The boogers taste spicy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got juicy pear. Oh my god! It tasted like boogers at first. I'm making mad with you. Why are you chewing it? Wow. What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. How many more we got to go? I'm getting. I'm sweating. No. Oh. This is horrible. Uh, spoiled milk or coconut? <clears throat> you need spoiled milk. Oh. Don't say that. I tap out. I tap out. No. I tap out. Keep going. Here. How you gonna be mad? You might gave me that. Oh, I wanna make my own. What is this? Spoiled milk. Spoiled milk. Ooh, ooh, we might throw up from that one. Y'all is. Stay in the frame. I can't count. One. I got the mentally prepared while y'all count. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It actually tastes like spoiled milk. What you mean? You ate that too? You ate that frame. Swallow it, so that's good. Yeah, the dish is good. But it's on my tongue, though. Like, I be licking my lips and stuff. That's nasty. That's specifically, that tastes exactly. Like, uh, Oh, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> that is a horrible, horrible. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Next, oh. Oh, stinky socks or tutti frutti? Stinky socks or tutti frutti? Which one is those? This is the. Let me get this one. <laughs> Here. Mm, don't want you bring my girl. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> okay. One. I can't count. I can't. One, two, three. Mmm, I got tutti frutti. Thank you. This is a gum, ma. I don't like this. 
Straight out the up she out ate the, the roof. Like you ain't ooh. That's you ain't getting that blue. It's mad for when I'm done. So we got her done. It's really interesting to to, to experience the flavors. How, what you thought about it? It's good. It was good. All of them. The stink bug is nasty. <laughs> the stink bug. Mm hmm It's like poo doo doo. -doo. Come on, Shannon Frame. What you think about it? They all nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them girls. They all nasty. <laughs> you didn't like none of them? Well, the toothpaste is good. That's why I got this one. Tootie Fruity. So I didn't have Tootie Fruity. <clears throat> oh, well. I had stinky socks. And I had dirty dishwater. Yeah. That was food. Can you dog food? You had that? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Was that was nasty. But y'all remember that other one, the skunk? Oh yeah, I'm glad that one went in there because so we had the uh, moldy cheese. Moldy yeah. cheese, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's something to do if you want to like just to do something and face your fears, because <laughs> that's exactly what I did. <clears throat> I don't play with my palate like that, y'all. My taste buds, they spoiled, okay? So we got her done. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And let me get ready to edit this. I guess I'll probably put it with my vlog tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. It might be separate. We'll see. And on that note, <clears throat> I hope everybody have a blessed day, a safe day, a productive day. Get her done. And have a protective day. And I'll see y'all in my vlog. And on that note. Peace and love. No. Peace and love. You say peace. Peace. And love. Share some. And share some. And. Oh, holla. Bye, y'all. We G. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. We did that. All right, bye, y'all. Rips. Well, you did a good job on the refrigerator.
Say hey to the peeps. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear all the things you say. Hey, peeps. How y'all doing today? You doing good? You're not doing so good. This weather taking a toll on you. The changing of these seasons and stuff. Tell me about it, y'all. So, uh, today is Sunday, November the, y'all know me, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 17th. Today, November the 17th at 1.15 in the p.m. So, y'all, been a busy day for me. Um... Let's talk about it. <laughs> I got up this morning. I know my battery probably gonna die. I got up this morning around 6 15 ish to put my ribs on in the crock pot because I have to get the seasonings together, the barbecue sauce. It requires barbecue sauce, five cups, brown sugar, honey, garlic powder, onion powder, and Cajun seasoning. You have to mix all that in the bowl. The hubby did the ribs for me last night, cut them up, normally in threes or whatever. We could cut it up some more after they get done, it don't matter, but so it could fit in the pot because I had two slabs. So it requires six pounds. It's a, uh, the recipe is like a 10 serving, and it got to cook for eight hours on low. So I'm down to two hours, and it's one something. So it should be done about three and everything. So I guess put my corn on around one. And I'm going to make some spaghetti with that. And they got some rolls up there. They'll probably eat that too. So I've been on got it done. Yesterday, Saturday, we had Taco Bell. The double chalupa box. I like that box. It's good. So that's what we had for dinner yesterday. And a roll. And here we go. So we did the Bean Boozer channel. I probably edit that with this video. So that might cause my video to be a little lengthy. But the girls want to do it. We did it, got it out the way. So that's done. And yeah, I got me some new lip gloss. I went to the beauty supply store yesterday. I like this. Because my other one's almost gone. And when I went out Thursday, because I accidentally left the top off my highlighter that I use for homeschooling. My favorite yellow highlighter. And when I went to use it, it was dried out. So I had the best smoke. So I seen this can. Man, I like this. It's pretty cool. Y'all see the tip how it is? Like, wow. I like that. It's like gel, y'all. Like, for real. So, I used it on this. The one that I left the top off of. It's barely on there. So, works real good. Oh, y'all see the difference? So this is like my new favorite. I'm like, okay. And it was two in the pack, so I was happy about that. It'd be the little things, people. Oh. Oh, you can push it down. Oh. Okay. I think this pushes it down. Because I just did that. So yeah. And since I'm adding a bean boozle challenge, well the bean boozle um we did. Of the jelly beans we did. I don't want this video to be too long. But let me go and change my battery out y'all. Man. Seriously. That's cause my camcorder don't charge anymore. So. But I'm ready. Bam. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay I'm back. So this one is fully charged. Let me see if I'm turning it away. I got my own curtains up. So I'm going to charge this one up. When I finish recording. It comes in handy, y'all. This is really helping me to not have to like buy me another count quarter right now. <laughs> I'd rather switch out these batteries than spend. I don't know how much this count quarter might cost today, but I will get my same count quarter because I like it. 
I just think from putting it in and charging it and pulling it out, you know, how things with phones, the chargers get loose and stuff be happening. That's what happened. But other than that, my camcorder is perfectly good. So I'm going to just ride it out with batteries. I might just, just do this because when I finish this book, I'm done making videos anyway. So I think I can ride it out like that. So, without further ado, let's get ready to get into this read. Look like it's kind of lengthy, y'all. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, so let's do this. Y'all ready? Okay, here we go. Uh, resist temptation by refusing to resist temptation by refusing to doubt God. Hezekiah was a good king of Judah who tore down the high places of idol worship. High his enemy, the king of Assyria, Assyria, arrogantly went to war against King Hezekiah and tried to tempt him not to trust God to save him from his attack. But Hezekiah refused to be tempted to doubt God. Instead, he went to the prophet Isaiah for a word from the Lord. God told him, do not be afraid of the words which you have heard with which the servants of the king of Assyria has blasphemed me. That's in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 19, verse 6. God promised to send a spirit upon a Assyrian king that will cause him to return home, where he would die by the sword in his own land. Man, God is awesome. The latter, I mean, the king of Assyria continued to taunt King Hezekiah, sending him a letter telling him not to let God deceive him because he was surely going to lose. That's in the book of 2 Kings chapter 19 verses 10 through 11. Hezekiah did not respond to the threats of the Assyrian king. Don't give him no, don't, don't give him no attention. When you know what you know, that's all you need to know. Like, you can't your words, your taunting, your Semi-bullying can't move me because I know who I am and I know who I believe in. So, Hezekiah did not respond to the threats of the king, Assyrian king, but instead he again took his problem to God for help. Who he took it to? To God. He spread the letter before the Lord and prayed because they sent him a letter. He spread the letter before the Lord and prayed. First, he declared who God was and exalted him. He giving him the praises. Mm. You are God and you alone of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Who made heaven and earth? God. That's in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 19, verse 15. Then he gave his request to God. O oh Lord our God, I pray, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you are the Lord God, you alone. That's in the book of 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 19. When Hezekiah brought the threatening letter before the Lord, it was a physical act. But it was symbolic of putting the situation in the hands of God. Well, we too can take a symbol of what frightens us or comes against us or attempts us to doubt God and bring it before God in the same way. Amen. The lawsuit, the bills too large to pay. Wow. The threatening letter, the disloyal friend. Wow. The dwindling bank account statement, the sick child. The difficult spouse. The disaster. Whatever stands against us, we can bring it before God humbly, key word, humbly, in prayer, and refuse the temptation to doubt God. As a result of Hezekiah's prayer, God sent an angel to destroy the Assyrian soldiers, which was 185,000 of them. That's in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 19, verse 35. God can send whatever you need to defeat your enemy too. Y'all, that was, that was deep. That was deep. Y'all missed it. God can send whatever you need to defeat, to defeat your enemy too. 
whatever. Don't ignore your fears, but don't allow them. Okay, don't ignore your fears, but don't wallow in them either. Wow. She, man. Take them to the Lord and lay them down at his feet. Don't listen to what evil people say. You got that? In case you didn't, in case you missed it. Don't listen to what evil people say. They don't know God and they don't have the Holy Spirit of God in them. Refuse to live the faithfulness they, okay. Refuse to live in the faithlessness they stir up. Wow, this was good. It was a mouthful. But man, she was hitting me, y'all. Oh, all around. <laughs> man, don't ignore your fears, but don't wallow in them either. Well, I like the part when, like, God sent the angels to destroy the Assyrian soldiers, which was 185,000 of them. That's in the book of 2 Kings. God can send whatever you need to defeat your enemy, too. And that's deep because you ain't got the, like they said, you ain't got to be going back and forth with people. No, when you know who you know and you believe in who you know, God, you ain't, mm -mm. he said, hold your peace, I'll fight your battles. You ain't got to be going tit for tat. You ain't got to be arguing back and forth with people. You know, because God will intercede. He will fight for his children. And that's for sure and for certain. Because I know I seen it done plenty of times. And whatever he's seen, he'll seen. And sometimes he, you'll be surprised. I mean, he'll send a sickness to sit on somebody to shut them down. It's so many things. Because God is God. He's the creator of the heaven and the earth and everything in it. Okay? So, he has the power. Like he was sending them plagues on the, the children, the, uh, the Egyptians, on behalf of the children of Israel. What you think he'll do for us? Okay? Let's keep it moving. Hmm. What? You ain't said nothing. What? What you say? That's like, you know, when somebody talk about you when you growing up, and then you be like, I'm going to tell my mama. And you know, you tell your mama or your daddy or whatever, and you be like, okay, I know they going to handle this. They got my back. And then, like, my mama, y'all, she'll straight up come out there like, who? You, 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 when, when your mom come out there, you feel like you, you get some kind of courage. You get some, mm, when your mom show up or, or your dad. But I had my mom, I ain't had no... No man in my life, in my life like that. So mom come out there and she like, who said what? Who did what? And I'm like, yeah, you, you. You know, I, you know how we do as kids and everything. So yeah, but imagine God showing up for you, God fighting your battle, the Creator of heaven and earth. What? I ain't scared of you. I'm going to keep it moving, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I really, really, really like that. Mm. Wow. But I like also how she said uh, about the fear. Don't ignore your fears, but don't wallow in them either. Take them to the Lord and lay them at his feet. Don't listen to what evil people have to say. They don't know God. And they don't know, and they don't have the Holy Spirit of God in them. Refuse to live in the faithlessness they stir up, the drama. When people trying to start drama around you, especially when you know you're doing the right thing. You know, I'm just a messenger. That's how the message comes from my Heavenly Father. He's going to protect his. All right. Okay, so y'all, I got her done, and that was really, really good. That was deep. That was really deep. Man, I kind of needed to hear that, too, so that was for me. If y'all didn't take nothing from it, I did, okay? But I hope you did. I hope it spoke to you on some type of level and everything, and of course, my little input and insight. So I'm kind of moving along because I'm trying to add, I'm going to add this little Bean Boozer challenge to this, so yeah, and everything, so... I hope y'all enjoyed that, for real, for real. And on that note, I hope everybody have a blessed Monday, a safe Monday, a productive Monday, get her done, a, a protective Monday, slash Tuesday, slash Wednesday, slash Thursday, and I'll see y'all back at the table on Friday. And on that note, I'm out. Peace. Love, share something. And what? What?